are not hidden There's never been a moment you were forgotten You were not hopeless Though you have been broken, your innocence stolen I hear you whisper Father in heaven, we come before you this morning with a heart full of uh, praise, dear Lord, and we are grateful that, Father, you've given us a chance to listen to your word. I pray that, Lord, even as I speak, dear Father, that, God, you're going to speak through me, dear Lord, and, God, I pray that, Father, we shall hear your voice. In the name of Jesus, I've prayed. Amen and amen. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We are glad that you can find time to join us uh, this morning. Uh, we, th we thank God uh, for the the gift of parenting that he has given us and uh, we are going to look at God's intention for parenting why was God so intentional to make human human beings parents why would God bless us with children there's a reason why and uh, as we have been looking at the his intentions for parenting today we are going to uh, to pray for for ourselves that uh, Parents will honestly recognize their shortcomings and faithfully depend on God to raise their children. We are human beings and we are not perfect. But even in our weaknesses, I pray that uh, we will still choose to look up to God. Any parent out there, I pray that your heart will be tuned to God. And when, you, when you're faced with the shortcoming, you will still choose to look, look up to God to guide you. Uh, Hebrews 4.15 says, The high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for the for he faced all the same t testings we do yet he did not sin so the word of god is actually telling us uh, that the high priest that is uh, jesus christ he 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 really understands our weaknesses because himself he was faced with the same teachings but uh, the word of, of god continues to say yet he did not sin so as a parent this morning, we, we know there are challenges that you face. There are places that you're faced with weaknesses and shortcomings in your parenthood. So I would want to, to encourage you, allow God to, to guide you, allow God to lead you, allow God to be the head of your parenting. The word of God also says uh, in Psalm 127 verse 1, Unless the Lord builds the house, the, ha the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. So it's actually asking us, those who are parents, that allow God to lead you, allow God to build, allow God to watch over you. We are going to ask God to give us the strength. We are going to ask God to remember us even in our shortcomings. But then at the end of the day, as it says in Hebrews, just like Christ was faced with this, uh, um, this uh, tests, he did not sin. And I pray that we as parents, I pray even for the guardians that no matter what you're faced, 
you will acknowledge yes i have a shortcoming you acknowledge that yes i have a weakness but i will not sin our father in the name of jesus thank you dear lord thank you because of the blessing of being a parent dear lord you have uh, blessed your children dear father you have uh, enable them to be parents in one way or another dear lord it could be by, through birth it could be the, as a guardian or an auntie or an uncle dear father but god you have blessed us dear lord and so we we honor you dear lord and we choose to say thank you god at this morning moment dear father as your children we acknowledge that uh, there, there, there are times that we are faced with weaknesses dear lord there are times that we have shortcomings as parents dear father and so god we ask that lord you may remember us dear lord i pray that lord we shall um, choose to focus on you we shall lift our eyes to you dear father we shall hold on to you dear lord even in those weaknesses dear lord but above all lord even as your your word gives us an example of jesus christ that even as he was faced with these testings he did not sin and and therefore he understands what parents are going through he understands where they have their weaknesses dear lord i pray that lord we shall believe in your word i pray that lord we shall have faith in your word dear lord and god i want to pray for any parent dear lord i want to pray for any guardian dear lord that god you will strengthen them dear lord that god you will encourage them dear father even as they are faced with shortcomings dear lord and in the weaknesses dear father i pray that you shall encourage them dear father you you shall give them strength dear lord and i pray that lord they will not al- allow the enemy to ca- to guide them lord away from your word dear father god for 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 those moments dear father that we have gone astray lord we ask for forgiveness dear father i pray that lord you will shine your light upon the parents dear lord i pray that their hearts dear lord will be encouraged dear lord and strengthened dear father even as they as they continue dear lord to to bring up these children in your ways dear lord i pray that they shall be encouraged dear father and i pray that lord their children dear father will bring joy dear father to them even in their old age dear lord we honor you and we bless you dear lord we want to commit this day into their hands and i pray that lord you'll go before us and you'll guide us dear father we honor you and we bless you i pray this believing and trusting in your holy name amen and amen may you have a beautiful day and allow the lord to guide you as a parent amen I will never stop running to find you in the middle of the hardest fight it's true I will rescue you I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear darkest night it's true i will rescue you i will never stop running to find you in the middle of the hardest fight is true i will rescue Darkest night, it's true. I will rest.